Hello, my beautiful people of God. How are you all doing today? I know that God has been faithful to everyone. Honestly, I know that everyone is doing great. And please, always give God all the praise. Hallelujah. In today's video, my people, I want you to listen to Bishop Abiyoye. Okay? The reason I'm sharing this video is because these are one of those things that I, I kept on hammering on this platform. That there is no need for competition. If a man tells you God called him, leave the man with God. You are not to judge the man that God has called. Even if it seems as if God did not call him, leave him with God. Focus on your own. Like I've said, nobody is an escort. In this world, none of us is an escort. You came with something. You came with a talent, I came with my own. You came with a calling and I came with my own. So please focus on your own and make full proof of it. Hmm? Please, you see this video will bless you. I have no doubt about it. And please, endeavor to subscribe to this channel if you have not done so. Share this video. Give it a like. And God will bless you. Thank you, my returning subscribers. I am seeing your handwork. Honestly, your reward will not elude you. Oh yeah, please listen. I'm saying this because, please permit me, I'm shooting two, three minutes beyond my time. There is a lot of competition going on in ministry today. You are not called to complete, but to complement. You are not called to be famous, but to be faithful. You are not called to be popular, but to be peculiar. Stop seeking popularity. Stop having stomach ache when someone is making progress. I'm not saying this to flatter our host, or to make myself feel important, there are times I just send a message, I watch the crusade in Kano. I watch the crusade in Nevada. This final night will be very great. That's my joy. I don't go on crusade, but someone is there doing it. Let's send them with goodwill. Amen. <laughs> Listen to this. My wife and I, we pray for a number of our co-laborers from time to time. We pray for them. The proof of love and commitment to your co-ministers is in your ability to pray for them. And beyond, occasionally send seed to whatever they are doing that impresses you. We are glad this is happening. We are happy things are going on there. Stop creating stomach ache for yourself by reason of good things that God is using others to do. The faith dome here is not Pastor Inenche's own. It is for the entire body of Christ. It's for the glory of God. It's for our honor. It's for our pride. Everywhere we go to, we rejoice at the doings of God. It's happening everywhere. All across the globe. Including in Canaan land. Building mighty structures for Jesus. Everyone, except those who have to make ache, are not happy with. Why are they building? Why are they building? God sends us differently to create fear. Why are they talking about prosperity? That's why wicked people can touch us. They don't only fear our anointing, they fear our resources. Yeah, what is this? They fear our resources. And there's nothing they can do about it because we didn't get our resources in crooked ways. What am I saying, brethren? Permit me for keeping you standing, first of all. I'm saying this let competition be over. You know how to. You know how to shake the devil when you hear your fellow minister doing something. Go there. Have an handshake and tell him we are praying for you. We are standing with you. And if you are blessed with something to offer, this is our seed. Because you can't give to somebody and still hate the person. No. Let's destroy the devil. And finally, let each person focus on his assignment. If God sent you as a prophet, Stay on there. 
if he sends you as evangelist, stay on there. If he sends you as a pastor, as a teacher, and on different subjects. Do you know that even among prophets, there are differences? There are prophets that causes. There are prophets that weep. Like Jeremiah, he's a weeping prophet. Elijah, a killing prophet. And yet God was supporting each of them to prove that he sent them. Because there are people in the church, there are people around who want to kill the church that needs to be killed. So they stand up. There are prophets who teaches forgiveness. There are other prophets who teaches judgment. They are all doing their jobs. How do I know? God is confirming their word. God is confirming their word. Hallelujah. There are those who teach success. There are those who teach healing. Don't castigate somebody. There are those who teach prosperity. Don't say well, every time they'll be preaching prosperity. That's what he sent to preach. You face your own. Face your own. Face your own. Amen. <laughs> you know, in the market, there are different stalls. There are those who sell spare parts. There are those who sell iron rod. There are those who sell cement. Every customer goes to where he has the good being sold. So display your good, sell your good, preach your message well, stay on your assignments instead of focusing your eyes on somebody else's assignment. Otherwise, stomach ache will trouble you too much. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah! No one has the authority to judge another person's ministry. No. God didn't give that authority to anybody. Say, sir. Aha. Thank you. Stay on your assignment. Stay on your job. Make a mark. There is no calling that is inferior. Every... Somebody says, you see, the reason why I don't see miracles is because I'm not a teacher. That's not true. I teach every day. In the church where I minister this month, we had a record of over 250 healing testimonies through teaching, through teaching, through teaching. Don't say, see, I'm not, I'm not an evangelist, that's why I do it. Jesus was teaching and preaching and healing. Don't say, see, the reason why we are not prosperous is because we are not teaching prosperity. It's not true. Jesus didn't teach prosperity when the woman brought an alabaster oil and poured it on his head and poured it on his feet. Be faithful in your assignment. Everything you need will meet you on the way. Be faithful in your assignment. Everything you need will meet you on the way. Don't look at this ministry and say, Oh, can you see why God is so partial? Find out where they were 25 years ago. I was there. I was there. I was there in their office when there was no air conditioner. I was there in their office when the table will require balance with a bottleneck. Like my own when I was in Meduguri. I wanted to make wood, I mean table. I told the brethren in the church, I said, can you make a table for me? He said, where is the money? I said, don't you have off-cut wood in your, in your site? So they went and used off-cut wood. By the time they put the table on the ground, one leg was this, you know. So I put bottleneck to shock the leg. Come on table, you must stand strong. You must stay well. Now lift up your hand, please. Permit me for... Do you hear that, brethren? I don't want to talk much, but this message really blessed me. And that's why I'm sharing it. Do you see it? There's no need for competition. I have said this over and over on this platform. That there's nobody that comes into your, Nobody is an escort. You came with something. Find out what is that. So focus on it. Make a full proof of it. And God Almighty will bless you along the way. That's how it is. And you have no right and to begin to castigate everybody because they are not preaching what you are preaching. Hmm? Even if you think that they are, what they are preaching is wrong, then make it a teaching. Not a, you know calling people out and... Uh, I don't know how long I will say this because it's as if the more we say it, the more the thing is gaining ground, especially on social media. Please, I want you to take this message home and share it to everyone. My beautiful people of God, I am so grateful that you are sharing the message. Thank you for all the message 
that you are even sending to us to encourage us and also criticize us where we are not doing well. That is helping us well. Thank you so much. Like this video. And if you have not subscribed, subscribe and God will reward you. Thank you so much and stay blessed.